All right, uh, this video is going to incorporate a couple of different uh, hobbies that I enjoy, so hopefully it'll be a good one. Uh, basically, I've got this entry-level Marshall tube amp here, this DSL40C, and the first switch has no indicator light LEDs on it. I've got an indicator here. Uh, when you switch between the gain, I've got the classic gain is green, ultra gain is red, and on the reverb, there are no indicators at all. And because the reverb is so weak, there are times when I can't actually tell if it's on or not. So. Uh, I'm going to try to add a red LED that indicates when I'm in ultra gain mode here on the channel select and I'm going to try to add a blue LED on the foot switch when I'm in uh, when the reverb is activated. So I'm going to give this a shot and see if I can figure it out and make it work. So let's get started. Alright so the first thing we need to do is pull the back off this and uh, see how the switches are set up as well as determine the uh, voltage going through them. And pretty straightforward. Next we're going to use a uh, multi-tester to determine the voltage uh, because we need to figure out the voltage um, going through these switches so we can determine the amount of resistance we need uh, for the LED so we don't burn them up. Alright so what we're going to do here is use the uh, multi-tester to actually test the voltage. Uh, typically you would use this to calculate um, what you need for a resistor to power up your LED. So 10.2 volts is what we're getting. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is flip it over to uh, continuity, which is just going to test um, the switch position and how it actually works with regards to sending power or making a connection on the uh, on the amp switch itself. So right now if you recall, I've got the amp um, basically um, on. I've got the reverb on and I've got the ultra gain channel on. And I'm not getting anything on any of the leads. So I'm going to flip them off. I'm going to flip the uh, reverb off first. See what we get here. Okay, so the reverb um, is this sleeve. This is a ring. They call this tip ring sleeve. So when the reverb is off, uh, the connection is made, and when the reverb is on, it op it's an open it's an open situation. So it's it's the reverse of what you might think. You know, when you kind of think of when you push a switch, it's making the connection, and that's what turns it on. In this case, it's the reverse. Now let's do the channel side. Now we should get the ring in the sleeve. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So these switches work in such a way that uh, when they're in their, I guess you'd say, off state or in the on the channel select when it's in the clean channel or the uh, green um, classic gain channel, it's actually making the connection. When we go to the ultra gain uh, channel, you're actually opening up the switch, so you make you're breaking the connection. And the same goes for the reverb. So uh, we'll have to see how that plays out with the LEDs. Um, I'm gonna break into those. All right, so, all right, so I've used side in the past is uh, this one here. If you Google uh, LED resistance calculator, you'll come up with a couple of different ones. And here's the address right here if you wanna use this one. Uh, basically, we know that uh, the source voltage is 10.2 volts. Okay, so when you buy your LEDs, they're gonna have a rating, and I got mine on eBay, so I'm just gonna flip over here. So. Um, we know that the forward current uh, is uh, 18 to 20 milliamps, so I'm just going to put in there 19. That right here, this is the current. And then we have the forward uh, voltage as well. And because we're doing the uh, red, because I'm working on the gain channel right now, it, it's a 2 uh, volts to 2.4 volts, so I'll just basically say 2.2 volts. And we're going to find the resistor for it, okay? So 470 ohms, okay? So we're going to do the same thing uh, for the blue one. So if we take a look here, the blue actually has uh, 3 to 3.4 volts. So we'll basically pop that in here at uh, 3.2. 
and we'll find that one. Okay, so that's going to be 390 ohms. Okay, so let's go back. We'll, we'll work on the red one now. I'm, I'm basically going to show you how to do one. I don't think you need to see both. Uh, hopefully, I'll show you the finished product um, if we get it working here. So 2.2, and we're going to find the uh, resistance. 470 ohms. So, and real quick, I'll just run through here. Um, I bought these LEDs on eBay. You know, you get a hundred for two dollars and ninety-eight cents out of China. Okay, so I bought a slew of them. These are the various colors. If, if you're in electronics, if you want to do more of this type of thing, I mean, eBay is a great place to get it. So, uh, I got the bezel, ninety-nine cents for five. So I only need two. Uh, but who knows where I'll put these things. I got a hundred LEDs. Okay, so then the other thing I did is I bought these resistors um, And I got 640 Miscellaneous resistors. I guess you'd say uh, these are the various uh, ratings uh, Or resistance values, I guess you'd say um, and I got those for uh, You know 599 all free shipping. So we're talking like ten dollars for this project You know, it's really nothing and then however many more LEDs I feel like doing so it's really inexpensive This is a great project. All right I'm gonna move back now and I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire up all of the LEDs sort of out of the Before I solder anything in just to make sure it's working Okay, so we ran into a little bit of a snag with the calculated resistance uh, because on the channel select um, the default state is closed, so the switch is making a connection. Uh, when we when we uh, wired up the LED, I'm just using these jumper cables. I've got a breadboard, but it's probably overkill for this job. So I like these jumper cables. You can buy these again on eBay for like next to nothing. You know, a whole bunch of them. So when I when I uh, use the calculated uh, resistance, uh, wired up the LED. What ended up happening was uh, because we're cl again closing the circuit. Um, it would not it would not um, switch to the ultra gain channel because remember the ultra gain channel this would be the classic gain and then the ultra gain is when we open up the circuit and we're creating a circuit um, um, or closing the circuit yet again when we're when we're doing this LED thing so what I ended up doing was playing around with a bunch of different resistance values and I ended up with a uh, 4.7 thousand ohms which is significantly more resistance than what uh, was calculated. But it is working. Uh, the LED may not be quite as bright as it normally would be with the calculated resistance, um, but there's not enough juice going through the circuit to tell the amp to um, um, not, not switch channels, okay, when we, when we open up that circuit. Okay, so that's how that works. Um, let's test out the blue one. The blue one um, is the reverb, and it came out to a calculated value of uh, 390 ohms of resistance. And I've got my guitar plugged in because I've got no indicator light, and that seems to work okay. So let me just toggle over to that one real quick. Okay, so I've switched it over. I've got it over here to the reverb. Uh, I've changed to the uh, 390 ohm resistors, and this is a good way to do it, really, too, because um, rather than rip these all out, um, I'm actually going to play around with the brightness a little bit because the blue, because I'm using so much less resistance, uh, is quite a bit brighter than the red. And what I may end up doing is, is when I get the LEDs mounted on the face, I'll play around with different resistance values because we're not going uh, more voltage, we're going less, so they're not going to basically burn out. Um, okay, so let's give it a shot here. Okay, so you can see that's quite bright. Um, and just to show you two of these LEDs, if you have one, if you get them, there's a longer leg, and that's that's the positive and that's the negative. So the positive is the longer, the longer leg. Um,
right, so what I ended up doing was uh, drilling a pilot hole where I made my marks and then I used a 5 16 inch uh, drill bit. These bezels are probably metric in size, diameter, but 5 16 seems to fit okay. Okay, so the way they work, they come with these little uh, plastic uh, cups that helps keep the diode leads um, separate and then uh, that sits in here like this. There's a little bit of tension and then they came with uh, a washer, actually a lock washer and, um, and a nut. And so these are 99 cents for five so that's pretty inexpensive. Alright what I'm going to do is get these mounted. Uh, first I need to determine which color is which because I've set them aside. Uh, get them mounted and then I'm just going to hook them up check the, the brightness of the two LEDs. I know the red is, uh, is where it is. I may have to um, add a, a higher resistance to the blue just to dim it down so they match a little bit. Okay, a soldering master I am not, but uh, this shout out goes out to Mike and Jamie because they know the real secret to my solder success. Okay, I've got this uh, channel select side done and it looks okay I guess so I'm gonna try it out before I move on to the blue one or the reverb alright so let's take a look here right now I'm on the clean channel now we're on the ultra gain classic gain ultra gain and that that LED is bright enough I've, I've got to touch up a little bit here on the uh, black where I must have nicked it with the drill bit or when I was taking off uh, metal shavings but in the uh, bezel you can see also reflects quite a bit of light so I'm going to move on to the blue one alright so let's take a look here I'm just kind of going through this process remember we have a 4.7 K resistor in the channel select and uh, you know it looks it's plenty bright enough um, we right now I've got this on a, a 3 K resistor and you can tell it's a little bit brighter especially dead on Okay, but remember the, the LEDs also have a different forward voltage, so using the calculator they actually require different resistors anyway, so but because of the channel select uh, and the way that the circuit is open, we couldn't use the default. So I'm going to try the 4.7 on the blue and see if it puts us in the neighborhood of the same intensity. Okay, there's the channel. Okay, so for the uh, channel select, I ended up using that 4.7K resistor. Anything less, um, and it wouldn't switch channels because uh, it actually completed the circuit. So on the reverb, just for the intensity alone, I ended up using a 10K resistor for the blue LED. So uh, let's give it a shot here. Let's do the reverb first. I've got the reverb cranked up on this because you're not going to get a big uh, concert hall lush reverb out of this amp anyway. So this is max reverb. Actually, I've got it off right now as indicated by the light. Okay, click it on. So you can hear it. And it is uh, it's a nice blue light there. Okay, let's do the uh, channel select. Obviously, we're in the clean channel. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, again, be careful if you're going to do this, but take your time. It can be done. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this or you, you happen to find this helpful, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Good luck.